What's up everyone, my name is Kyle and welcome to the first official YouTube video um, as we go from a low 20 handicap down to single digits and our goal is to do it by the end of the summer. That's right, the goal is to drop about 15 to 20 handicap points in five months. You know, I figure since I'm already recording a bunch of these videos uh, to analyze my swing, I might as well start sharing them and recording the journey as we go. So say we we're out here before work at the driver range getting some work in. I'm gonna go through kind of my practice plan, uh, 75 ball bucket, uh, on what I'm working on, how I can get my handicap down. Yeah, so the goal today is I really don't care a whole lot about ball flight or where the ball goes. I'm really gonna be focusing on my backswing, my tempo, and then most importantly, I'm trying to shadow the club face, square it up, and then um, we've got some pretty bad lateral hip sway going on at impact, so uh, really focusing on my pelvis, opening up through the ball, uh, following through square, uh, and kind of just getting more of a feel down today. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take you with me. Again, 75 ball driving range routine. Everything from a two degree to a driver. So let's go. All right, so with these first five swings, we're gonna take a 52 degree wedge. Um, really not caring about distance or control. We're gonna swing pretty hard. The goal here is really just to kind of warm up with a pretty easy club to hit. Uh, again, might slice them, might fade them. I don't really care. Just getting warmed up for now. Like I said, we'll probably clip this video a little bit in between shots, but um, we're not going to edit out anything bad. This is going to be the raw, uncut footage. Really kind of get a feel for where we're at today and uh, hopefully find some areas where we can improve. All right, so next up, we're going to grab a seven iron and we're going to take uh, somewhere in the ballpark of eight to 10 uh, balls. Kind of just let it rip again. This one, I'm more focused on getting a straight line because that means my club path is straight, but um, yeah, really focusing on rotation opening up that front knee at impact so I give myself some room to clear. Um, yeah, take about seven or eight swings. All right, there we go, that's eight balls with my seven iron. Um, actually really pleased with how that feels as well as the ball flight. All right, next up we're taking a five iron, seven balls. Um, trying to get the ball up in my stance just a little bit. Um, want more of a sweeping motion here, less of an attacking angle, let the, the natural club face do its thing by having the ball maybe one ball uh, in front of center. But um, yeah, really nice seven iron swings. Want to carry that feel now over to the long irons. What I want to avoid seeing happen here though is a little bit of a snap hook, so. Yep. There it is, there's that snap hook. Not great, but those last two, while pushed a little bit, had much better ball flight, and more importantly, I really felt myself getting through the ball better. So, on to the next one. All right. So what I would typically do next is grab like a hybrid and do another seven balls, um, because I don't have a hybrid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a four iron, still do seven balls. That one. 
right. So it's about how my game's been going, you know. Um, hitting my short to mid-range irons all right, but these four and five irons I'm pretty inconsistent with. I have a ton of distance, you know. My five irons about 225, my four irons close to 240, uh, 235, but um, have a real tough time keeping them straight. I'm actually pretty happy with those shots. They felt pretty good. I caught them pretty pure. Um, club base might just be open or closed a little bit. All right, so here's where things get really interesting. Um, I'm naturally a long ball hitter, and I've actually for the last like three years completely avoided using my hybrid or my three wood or my driver. I have zero confidence in it. In fact, I snap hook it so bad, it almost goes backwards into the side sometimes. So um, we're gonna move on. We're gonna hit seven shots with the three wood, and then move on to the driver. That's about as ugly as it gets. All right, so for me, my practice routine is actually going to consist of 15 balls now with the driver. I know it's a lot, but it's also where if I can dial it in, my strength, my game's going to play. I'll carry my driver 305, 310. Um, but as you can see from that three wood, um, I cannot hit these clubs. So really going to kind of get it dialed in today. Gross. All right, so now we're gonna do driver, seven iron, pitching wedge, three balls. You know, way off to the right, I think I'll find it. What's up everyone, Kyle here at my office. Um, so I recorded that clip and unfortunately my memory card actually stops recording after 30 minutes. So kind of that last four or five shot sequence didn't record. Um, so what I like to do to kind of end up those practice rounds is I'll take uh, three balls and I'll hit either like a driver or a three wood and then follow it up with some type of mid iron or long iron or a wedge and kind of just alternate back and forth. And then uh, I actually had like three or four balls left over. So I got it with the driver and I striped like all four or five wherever it was in a row. So it felt really good to practice and end that session, um, you know, especially with my three wood and my driver where I've been really struggling. Uh, finished up really solid. In fact, that's probably the best I've ever hit. I was flying it over the the uh the driving range so probably carrying like that 310 range which is exactly where i want to be and where i was a long time ago um so i want to add a little bit of context and kind of this new youtube series that i'm starting i'm going to call it 100 to 1 which is going to be 100 swings every single day for 100 days until i become a one handicap uh so today is officially day 31 of kind of this challenge i uh, started back on may 23rd which means i'm going to wrap this up then on august 31st, we'll just call it September 1st, where we're going to go out there, we're going to play 18 holes and figure out what my handicap actually is at that time. Um, now I get it, trying to go from, a, uh, right now I'm at 16.1 handicap, so whatever, 70-ish days, trying to go to a one handicap is going to be nearly impossible. Um, but the goal here is really to kind of show what you can do when you practice every single day and really realistically what results you can expect after the course of, you know, three months or so. Um, especially, you know, uh, trying to balance it with your day job and your family and, and, and all enjoying life and other obligations that you might have. So uh, by no means do I think I'm going to get down to a one handicap, although I do think I hopefully can get down to single digits. But, um, you know, the idea is that I'm already recording these shots uh, to analyze my swing. So I might as well share it and, and see what we go with it. So uh, kind of a quick introduction to the 100 to 1 series. Uh, we'll probably be posting here a couple times a week.